anything in Mr. Hunt's uh, uh, communication in here that would suggest that he did anything other than apply l way later on in this process when it was negotiating the undertaking in lieu that at every turn Mr. Hunt took the advice of the independent regulators, Ofcom and the OFT in particular, at every single decision point. So the, the point I put to you didn't really enter into your calculation at, at, at all. That you, you've, you have, you've told us that you're outraged by what you read here in relation to Mr. Cable. Yet the obvious converse of that is that you'd expect someone you did support to show you favour rather than disfavour. That's it absolutely... It all fits together, doesn't I, it? I'm sorry, Mr. J. that is absolutely not the case. And the question mm. of support of an individual newspaper for politicians one way or another is not something that I would ever link to a commercial transaction like this, nor would I expect that political support one way or another ever to translate into a minister behaving in an inappropriate way, ever. I simply wouldn't do business that way. 